gospel writers simply assume that we know what they're talking about when they're talking about the material culture, which they don't talk about very much. They just mention that he's on the road, we're the ones who have to supply what a road looks like. They're in a house, we have to supply what a house looks like. What I like to say about archaeology is that it's not an exact science, not a hard science, because it's an experiment that cannot be replicated. You cannot duplicate the experiment. You get one bite of the apple when you're an archaeologist. We have good datable pottery that tells us an enormous amount about who the, the people who used that pottery were. In this square, we're excavating a sort of a sondage, which is a little like kind of test sounding to see what we have next to the cistern. The main way we excavate in this square is with a small hammer or patiche, bring it across levelly, and it's sort of a swinging action. We spend a lot of time sweeping and dumping. We're gonna go ahead and remove this big stone right here. Uh, guys, if you can come give me a hand, for the first time in 2,000 years, we can get a look at what's under here. I see immediately pottery that's pull out that diagnostic shirt. Let's just get the pieces of pottery that are, we can visibly see here first out of the sealed locus before we start troweling down. We've got a gufa where we're going to put our dirt. We'll sift this dirt that's coming out of here. We have a Munsell kit, and so we'll, we'll get an exact soil color, so we're not guessing. This is an area where we're doing sifting. We don't actually sift everything we dig up. We select contexts for sifting. Basically what we're looking for is anything that we would normally find in a square or in a trench, pottery, glass. Ellen then switches. She's switching out her smaller pointer to pinpoint what the reading is. We're going to peel back just about a centimeter at a time while we're troweling, and this is basic stratigraphy. We're way above the level of the synagogue, and what we've been doing is digging from the uh, contemporary ground level, the modern ground level, going down towards the original synagogue building. So this is the ground level that we started at, where the bulk is. Um, and you can see these stones, like this big one here. This is all components of that modern wall that we first excavated. After pottery's found, it's sorted into certain buckets, and then you literally just wash the dirt off and put it in a bag and get it ready for pottery reading, which is in the afternoons. Hey, here at Telborna, we're using a construction app to replace our, our regular paper forms. The goal of archaeology is not the process of digging, it's the publication of what we dig up. Because if we don't publish what we dig up, we've destroyed the information and we have then made it inaccessible to others. In a lab like this, you start to reconstruct the tiny shards, pieces, all together, and then from those vessels we reconstruct the lives of the people who use those vessels. Once you put them on display, you have another responsibility. You have to explain people what they are looking at. And in all these cases, your main purpose is to disseminate knowledge. I know we're 2,000 years away, but when you're doing it, you're not 2,000 years away. Time disappears and collapses.